uh, this last year, there were some deaths in in the far in the orchards of people that were uh, dying because of uh, the heat. You know the heat, and so wash mask is really at the forefront of really wanting to take care of farm workers. So they reached out and said, "How can we help? Can we come and build cooling stations? What would that look like?" And so they actually came last fall. And uh, we took them out, uh, Laura and one of our other workers, Mario, went out with them to the orchards to talk to some of the farm, uh, the, the farm owners, uh, because we need their permission if we're going to bring anything onto, onto, their, um, or onto their orchard. And we started looking at possibilities. What are some ways that people like wash masks that want to support our farm workers and keep them healthy from the heat and we have identified some things that they can uh, that they are working on to help us with the summer. They discussed possibly a backpack that could um, kind of go over them. They discussed maybe bringing a tent or something that they could wheel around but really the rules in the of what you can bring and what you can have in the orchard are very strict um, due to contamination, due to other issues. So they were really just brainstorming all the possibilities and, and they were speaking to a farm owner, right? And he was mentioning what was allowed, what wasn't allowed as they were giving him ideas so that they could create an idea that would be um, useful in multiple orchards and wouldn't be um, breaking any laws. So it seems like right now the support is going to be just uh, maybe a hoodie that you carry on your back so when you're walking, uh, a little pop-up tent of some sort. I think another challenge is keeping cold water, a cold water supply out in the orchards for them. One of the things that we've started looking into is um, water flask, you know, to keep it, give each one a water flask that will keep their water cool while they're out there working. But um, it's a it's a challenge.